Hey everybody, it's Dave here. Welcome to Digital Doxology. And today I'm going to show you in just a second how to transpose a song that's in pattern mode. If you have a sequence that you've recorded and you say you want to re repeat a pattern, but you want to do it up a half step or a whole step into a different key. I'm going to show you in just a second how to do that in your pattern sequencer. And I knew there had to be a way to do it, but I've been fiddling with it and fiddling with it and finally found out how to do it. And I couldn't find any information on it anywhere. So I'm going to show you how to change the key of a song that's in your pattern sequencer uh, during the song. So let's say you start out in a key of uh, C, but you want to go up a half step to the key of C sharp in the middle of the song and the chorus or at, towards the end of the song or D or whatever key you want to go to at the end. All right, so just a second, I'll show you that. If you like this video, please hit like and don't forget to subscribe and ring that little bell so you'll be notified when I put out a new video. All right, so let's show you how to transpose a song while it's in the pattern sequencer. And the song that I'm gonna show you how to do that on is called Ghost Riders. So let's go into my uh, pattern right here, my scene. Go into my pattern sequencer. Uh, while I was working on a song about an hour ago, and I thought, oh, that is really cool. And I did it by, kind of found it by accident. So the song starts out in the key of A minor. This is my intro. So I've done a two bar intro. And it really was one of those songs that really, I struggled with it and struggled with it. And I realized it's in cut time. So I had to record it in two four, not four four because I wasn't getting the chorus of it right. So anyway, um, be aware of that. Sometimes the song is in cut time or 2-4, and you'll have to record it in 2-4. So I did two bars of 2-4 time on the drum track. So that's the uh, first verse in A minor. An old cowpoke went riding out one dark windy day. So let me play that for you. Here's the first verse. You know, sometimes my, my dad likes to play this song with me and sing it on and play it on his guitar, but he said, hey, Dave, I want to go up a half set each time that I do the verse. I want to start in A minor, then I want to go to B flat minor, and then maybe wind up in C minor at the end. So every time I do the verse, I want to go up a half step. I said, hmm, I wonder if I can do that. So I figured it out. So here's the first verse. Here's the second verse. Same music, I just copied and pasted it, and then I had to do a little trick to get it to change key. So let me show you what I did. So the first thing is, I uh, let's copy this. That's the, uh, the... So I'm gonna copy that. Go into Pattern Utility. Make sure that you're on the pattern you wanna modify. There you go. So you click on transpose. You get all these options here when it says modify, quantize, erase, transpose, change velocity, so on and so forth. I wanted to transpose it, so I go to transpose. And then what you're gonna do right here is this little knob, you're gonna move this up. If you wanna go a half step, you're gonna put bias one. If you wanna go a, a whole step, bias two. This would be a minor third. Uh, major third. You catching on what I'm doing here? I'm raising this level up of how much I'm going to transpose. So I want to go up. Uh, I want to go from one there. I want to go up a half step. So I want to go a bias one. I also want to make sure I click on here where it says pattern, not the loop. Leave range and max range minimum, range maximum. Leave all those alone, and then hit execute. So hold on, let me go back to this. So I wanna copy this pattern. So I just copied that pattern, then I wanna go there and I wanna paste. All right, so I just copied that pattern, I wanna copy that one. And then I wanna paste it right there. Voila. Now it's not gonna change key yet, I don't think. Let me play that. Here we go probably is yeah it's still in the same key which is now um, B flat minor so I want to change the key of this uh, zone right there I want to change the key for that go pattern utility modify 
transpose bias one, you want to go up. If it was minus one, it would be going down a half step. This is the same key. So you're, this is the zero bias means you're staying in the same key. So up a half step, range, range minimum, range max, just leave that where it is. Make sure that's on pattern and then hit execute. And okay. All right, and do the same thing with the next pattern over. Modify, transpose, and execute. Okay. Now it should have gone up to B minor. Let's see if it does. Here is A minor. Oh, the pattern. A minor, B flat minor. Now it should go up a half step. There you go. So now I have a verse in A minor, a verse in B flat minor, then another verse in B minor. And if I want to continue that, I can put the pattern E right there and make it into C minor. Did you see what I did? Let me just do that again. I'm going to just pattern utility, copy, copy that pattern, and then paste it right there. And then copy this pattern. And paste it right there. And then go to this. And then I want to copy that too. So I might as well do that. And paste. Now I'm going to go in and modify that. Let me make sure I'm on the right one though. Sometimes it can be goofy if you don't do it. All right, so I'm going to, let me play that pattern. So, whoops, pattern. Oh, another thing I always forget to do, but I'm going to remember to do it right now is my scene. I want to save that. And okay. You always want to make sure you do that because I've done that where I messed it up. So let's go down to this pattern. All right. So I want to change the key of this pattern right there. So I'm going to hit Pattern Utility, Modify, Transpose, Go Up, and oh, make sure that's on Pattern. Uh, my fingers just are not... Oh, there we go. See, my fingers are just not skinny enough sometimes. Execute. I hate that. And I'll go over there, do the same thing, modify. Come on. There we go, transpose. Go up, pattern, range, fine, execute. Okay. All right, now. See, my fingers are just not skinny enough. Tap on E. There we go. See, if your fingers, you just got to get your finger right on that letter E to change it. C minor. Yes. Hallelujah. All right. So did you see what I did? Go back and watch the video. If you didn't quite catch on, you can change the, the key of each of these patterns. If you want to go to a different key, either a half step, whole step, major, th whatever the key you want to go to. Um, the only thing I would think about before I do this, if I have a song, I want to modulate like that. Make sure you set it up in the pattern before for the key change if you want a big like let's say if i wanted to go to c minor and i want to set up my tr modulation i might want to go from like b minor and then i might want to go down to g7 something like that so if you want to set up the modulation ahead of time then you want to do that in the previous uh, pattern or maybe make a new pattern that's like a modulation pattern. I hope that makes sense. If you just want to do a straight, go up a half step, boom, then that's fine. It'll work just fine. But if you want to set up the modulation ahead of time, you'll want to do that in the pattern of the previous pattern. So if I'm playing along in B minor, setting up the G7 to go to C minor. 
So if I want to do something like that, I need to make sure I do it in the previous pattern at the end. So just be aware of that, okay? Hey, have fun making your songs. Hope this helps somebody. And, you know, I'm always finding out something new about this crazy Phantom 06 here. But I know I could do that on my Korg Kronos. And I thought, you know, geez, Rollins got to have a way in there to do that. And sure enough, there is. It's just kind of hard digging it out of the, the information and stuff. So have a great day. If you like this video, be sure to hit like. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that little bell. Have a great day. Have fun making your music. This is Dave saying bye-bye.